guys uh, big bang biker here uh, so in this vlog i uh, just want to talk about something personal related to this bike uh, the thing is everyone have been uh, telling that uh, mojo has the worst brakes ever so that will be the title of this video uh, does mojo really have the worst brakes and i'm actually not wearing my gloves i put that uh, gloves for a wash because it was drenched completely and it was uh, smelling weird so that's what So to bring in the concept of uh, why people are actually saying the braking is really bad is uh, because of the following reasons. Uh, in the recent ride which I did to Gandhikota, right, uh, I have tried uh, riding uh, Duke 390, uh, CBR 250R and uh, Hyosung GT 250R. So I wanted to see how the brake actually really feels, you know. So in those bikes, if I do this much, if you can actually see here. This much is enough for you to get the feel of how the brake is actually is. But in Mojo, that is actually the play. You know, you won't get any braking in this. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't brake at all. It, it takes a little more of it to actually get a good braking feel. Br braking really good or bad, I'll show you in this road. So I would completely disagree with people saying that uh, Mojo has a bad brake or the worst brake or anything. Some people have been complaining saying that uh, you have to pull a lot and all that is all bullshit guys. I'll tell you the actual truth and I'll show you also that way you can believe actually what the truth is. Yeah, so uh, riding at 60 is the speed limit or 50 is the speed limit. So let me try doing that now. So you see that it comes to a dead stop, correct? Would you say the braking is bad? No, right? So the braking was progressive and not immediate. And I took a long time to do this video is because I wanted to know the reality as to why people think like that, you know. So I'll try a little higher speed now. Okay, let's consider being in a city again, uh, you know, not on a highway. Highway again, guys, I'm not. Uh, and one more fact is I'm not using the back brake at all. Reason being, uh, if you slam on the back brake a little harder, it actually locks up. That is one negative point about Mojo which I hate, which I'll agree with anyone who says says that. But the front brake works in the best way possible, you know. On a highway, even if I'm doing a 150 or a 140, right, I can totally rely on front brakes and my friends have seen how well this bike brakes and they have tried it as well. And I've asked them for feedback and they were very happy with the braking of this bike, you know. Uh, let me try a little higher speed now. See, that is the feedback I wanted to enter this road. Yeah, some people might say for the bulk of this bike, the braking is not good. Uh, but trust me, people have been riding with me since last ma 9 months now. And they have seen me doing very high speeds, like around 145 plus all the time. And they have seen me do hard braking on this bike, you know. Yeah, they have seen me doing hard braking on this bike and they are astonished by the fact that uh, it is that good. And uh, some people have been asking me either is ABS required for this bike. See, uh, ABS any day is welcome for any bike, you know. It is a lifesaver any day. But uh, I have... Uh, put my skills to test and I have learned to you know ride with a 70-30 braking and uh, because of the superior grip of uh, Pirelli Rosso 2 tires I am any day safe in this bike I don't have to worry any day so in uh, some other video when I am on a highway I will show you how good the engine braking on this bike really is so till then wait for that video and uh, if you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, share as much as possible. It certainly help, helps a uh, growing YouTuber like me. And I'll do one last uh, braking test on this bike with front brakes and rear brakes. 
70 on the front brakes 20 uh, 30 on the rear brakes and we'll see how it goes Again, I am in full control, be it be during rainy season or uh, summer season where the roads are really hot or uh, the roads are wet, I have found this 70-30 proportion to go on Mojo and uh, found it to be really useful. So I usually come to this place near the ground uh, in Sita circle and uh, it's really very nice uh, that's the temple and this is the ground yeah so I'm actually filming with my DSLR now and I'm actually loving it man absolutely loving it <laughs> 